Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. Are you merely a spectator of life or are you fully engaged? I can choose to be engaged in life or I can sit on the sidelines and watch as a passive, non-committed observer. Case in point, I am an avid fan of the Winter Olympics and I was thrilled when they held the games in Canada back in 2010. As a precursor to the Games, the Olympic torch relay traveled across Canada. The relay's route went right through my city and that it was going to pass by right below my apartment. Now I could have chosen to stay in my nice warm cozy little cocoon and watch the proceedings on television and not put any effort out at all beyond hitting the on button on my TV. I also could have gone out on my balcony and watched them go by far down below and I'm still not really having to commit myself to what was going on. Or I had the option to bundle up in a warm coat, mitts and hat and join the throng that would be lining my streets. Now, I much prefer to watch from a distance, to be honest. After all, if I head out on the street, I might have to talk to those people standing around me as we wait for the torch. I might have to ask people to move so I can maneuver my walker so I would be able to see. Or heaven help me, I might overhear an argument going on beside me or an aggressive panhandler might ask me for money. Yes, I might have to admit I belong to the human race. Proverbs 27 verse 17, iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. As I thought about my choices that day, a statement my pastor made a few weeks prior came to mind. You can just be a convert of Christ or you can be a disciple a follower of Christ. To be a disciple requires action. To be a friend of Christ requires a conscious long-term commitment. You need to engage in the process. You must spend time with him. You must learn to hear his voice so you can discern his will. You need to be obedient to his direction and it requires working alongside other believers. You can try to be a lone wolf disciple of Jesus, but you'll never get too far. Hebrews 10, verse 24 to 25. Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another the more as you see the day drawing near. I chose that year to make my way down to street level. I and I cheered as the procession made its way down my street. I still remember the shouts and the cheers that surrounded me that day. I felt proud to join with thousands of other hardy Canadians as we cheered on that torch in the winter. I was part of the corporate identity that makes up the Canadian psyche. And I could only do that by choosing active participation over casual observation. Yes, I choose to be a follower of Jesus Christ, but to do so, I must join with the community of fellow believers, even when it would be a heck of a lot more comfortable to be a passive observer of his works in my nice, safe little cocoon.